All right, peace and blessings to the fam. It's the one and only Ray Imperial. Of Imperial Flame Kennels, and we are out here with the uh, old family Red Nose Troop. This is uh, the ghost face dog you're looking at. He is uh, old family Red Nose. Uh, this is a pot of stuff. It's on the stop. It's on the top, if I'm not mistaken. It's that flame tree. It's a pot of stuff. Um, and then uh, a champion's a pot of the meat. Let me, let, me, let me put some respect on that. Um, and then, uh, I would, and then uh, his dad was old family red nose and claps. Right? And then, of course, I got a glimpse of an old girl. She is pure old family red nose. Uh, double bread crosses mojo from the Marty Cross uh, blood. Right? Rhino Campus. So, uh, here you see, when you compare the two of them, uh, stark, in con stark contrast in uh, physiotypes, you know what I mean? Uh, physiological features and, and uh, I forget what they call that, I think it's the genotype, something to that effect. But he is a little bit longer leg, slender, right? Gives you the appearance of a long-winded athletic type dog. Um, and she is much more short, squat, low to the ground. Um, she is definitely uh, more bulldogish, if you will. Right, but both old family red notes. Very, very heavy old family red notes. So it's just always uh, interesting to see, you know, what you get when you uh, put these lines together. All right, let's go. Now, to be fair to them, come on. We've uh traveled a good distance here already. Uh, I'm gonna say we put in at least three miles just getting to where we are now. And uh, today is Sunday, June 1st. Uh, and we are right about 8.30ish a.m. Um, so it's been an early day. It's been an early day. I've actually been at it since about 5 a.m., uh, which is not unusual. Sometimes it's 4 a.m., even 3, 3.30. I brought them out here today, man, just to see how they act. I really wanted them off leash. Uh, stay. I wanted to get some obedience training in, some just, not really obedience training, but just some communication and bonding. Uh, 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 uh. Stay. I wanted them to, uh, you know, get a feel for being in the field with me. Uh, the two of them may be working together a little more closely going forward. So it's just one of those things that uh, as a handler, you know, you like to, um, you like to run these little drills, if you will. All right. Okay, go ahead, go, go ahead, boy. And we know that's all he wanted to do. He's still very much a puppy. Atta boy. Good girl. Still very much a puppy. He likes to play. Um, nothing unusual in that. I want to see her, see how much she actually takes takes his lead. Um, I definitely want her to begin to look at him. Get it, get it, get it. Good boy. Get it, get it, get it. Atta boy. Get it, boy. Woo, good boy. Get it, get it, get it. Atta girl. Get it, get it, get it, get it. 
See that he just he just tried to grab my hand and I don't play that too tough. I should have chastised him, but in the moment. <laughs> pass it. Pass it. Who got it? Who got it? Who got it? I remember somebody telling me uh years ago when I had the uh when I had the uh, cam dogs out in the yard, um, starring bull playing tug of war or some shit they were like oh you'd never do that with two american pit bull terriers and uh again i say man <laughs> that's all i've ever dealt with <laughs> that's all i've been dealing with you know what i mean so you call it how you see it but um you call it how you see it but i do it the same <laughs> <laughs>